Another way to, to consider how organisms can vary from environment to environment is in terms of phenotypic plasticity. With phenotypic plasticity, you have one genotype, but you have potentially more than one phenotype that could result from that uh, genotype, depending upon environmental conditions. Uh, this essentially means that you've got alleles that in one environment or under certain environmental conditions display one phenotype and under another environment uh, display a different phenotype. One uses the, the term reaction norm to describe um, the range of phenotypes that can be associated with a given genotype. Note that I'm showing one allele here, the little a allele, as displaying a lack of phenotypic plasticity going from environment one to environment two. Allele big A, on the other hand, displays one phenotype in one environment and a different phenotype in the other environment. Uh, I'm not showing the phenotype as fitness, so this doesn't mean that we've got uh, a difference in fitness where uh, it, there's a, a, a decline here versus here, but it is showing that whatever the measure is, there's a greater similarity between the little a allele and the big A allele in terms of its phenotype in environment one uh, versus between little a allele and big A allele um, in environment two.